Grade 8 math number 13.3c, volume of a sphere in a real life problem. Most sports use a ball that's spherical. There's so many basketball, soccer, golf, racquetball, look at them all. Well, early forms of bowling date back to ancient Egypt. They used balls made out of husks of grains that were covered in leather, then bound with string. Some were even made of porcelain. Well, today, bowling balls are made of polyurethane. It's a type of plastic. Tala uses a 13-pound bowling ball when she bowls in her league, and its diameter is 8.5 inches. So what was the volume of polyurethane needed to make her ball, not counting the finger holes? So if the diameter is 8.5 inches, that means from this point all the way over here, we just need half of that. Half of eight and a half is 4.25. The theorem for the volume of a sphere is the volume V of a sphere with the radius of length R is given by V equals 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. And that's the formula for the volume of a sphere. Remember, the diameter divided by two is the radius. So if it gave us the diameter, we just need to divide that by two. Now we could have also used that this way in the equation. I decided to go this way and just divide it by 2 before I started. You can also write it so that the diameter is divided by 2 inside of parentheses cubed. Now, the parentheses are very important, and I've spoken about this before, but I figured it might be smart to just redo this. It's so important to have these parentheses around the little fraction d over 2 and then have the exponent on the outside without the parentheses. That means that the diameter of 4 inches of a ball would be 4 cubed divided by 2. So that means we're going to cube the 4 and then divide it by 2 because in order of operations we do exponents before we do division. So we would have 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. 64 divided by 2 is 32. See? We divided it afterwards because of the order of operations. Now. If it's in parentheses, that means divide first, because you always do what's in parentheses first with order of operations, right? So if we have a diameter of 4, we're going to divide it by 2 and get a 2. Now we're going to cube it. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Huge difference, 32 compared to 8. That's why those parentheses are so important, okay? So we know that the radius of her bowling ball is 4.25 inches. I'm going to find the volume to the nearest tenth of an inch. So we're going to use volume equals 4 thirds times, par times, times pi times the radius cubed. So because we're doing pi, it's going to be approximate because pi has so many digits, right? So we've got 4 thirds times pi as 3.14, and then it needs to be multiplied to 4.25 because 4.25 is the radius, and we need to cube that, see? Now... As I've said before, when we're doing these volume formulas, like for the cone, you multiply one-third to pi, and now we're going to do four-thirds to pi. It's really smart to write in your notes that four-thirds times pi is going to come out as 4.18. It's four-thirds times the pi, like here. It comes out to 12.56 over 3, and when you do that division, it comes out to 4.18. If you write this four-thirds times pi, equals 4.18 on the inside cover of your spiral or of your folder, you're not going to have to keep doing that math over and over again. And even if you have to show it, write it like this so that your teacher knows you know what you're doing. But it's really good to know what one-third, two-thirds, and four-thirds times pi is in your notes so you can just quickly go to it. Just make sure you have your work shown in your notes so you can copy that too. All right? So we know that the four-thirds times pi is 4.18. Now we need to multiply... 4.25 by 4.25, get a product, and then multiply that by 4.25 to get it cubed. So to itself, it came out as 18.0625. I rounded that off to 0 0.06. We only need to go to the tenth anyway, but to be accurate, I decided to include the hundredths in case that affects the tenths. So I multiplied 18.06 by 4.25 and got 76.75. I'm going to round this 7 to an 8 because the 5 tells it to go up to the next number. 
So I've got 76.8. Now I'm going to multiply the 4.18 by the 76.8. And I did, and I got 321.024. And because that zero is so small, I just left it at 321. So that's 321 cubic inches. 321 inches cubed of polyurethane to make Tala's bowling ball. See? We got our answer. So just remember to be careful to notice if it's given the radius or the diameter because it's very important that you don't mix them up. You want to make sure you're multiplying the correct numbers. Do you need to divide the diameter in half? Do you need to write it this way as an equation? And remember to do the order of operations and put that fraction inside of parentheses with the cube symbol on the outside, okay? All right, so that's volume of a sphere in a real life problem. And we're going to do a, an additional video, 13.3D, where we're going to find the volume of a cylinder with a hemisphere on top. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye.